my dear student welcome to my online class hope you are well by the grace of almighty today i am going to discuss about unit 5 agriculture production lesson 11 fault to feed and water management fault to feed management is important factor in the second vary so if you want to rear up the seconds we will have to maintain the fault to feed management which is most important things if we feed them properly and then we will get the more good result. In home estates they can lie on the waste and fallen crops, insect and vegetable etc. In an off and a free process of faulty rearing so they don't get the adequate and balanced feed. If you rear off the faulty feed in an often or free process of faulty rearing so we don't, they don't get the adequate balanced feed so that is why we will have to feed the second the desired number of eggs and amount of sick and meat and will not be in the hand if the balance feed is not ensured when the nursing hybrid second at home is stayed in 70 percent of total fault to rearing cost in the spent of fault to feed so if you in a fault to feed will have to spend the more than 70 percent of cost behind the fault to feed and sick and drink a lot of water and so fault to feed and water management is important in a fault to farm and another important fact also the water management Nutrition of faulty and fault ingredients, the essential in nutrient for the faulty are soga, protein, fat, mineral, salt, vitamin, and water. So most important ingredient of the faulty feed is the soga, protein, fat, and mineral, and salt, and vitamin, and water. The necessary nutrients for faulty are present in a balanced feed, and different fault ingredients that source of the nutrient for food are given below. And look, one is the carbohydrate. And this type of food ingredients and where we contain wheat, mice and rice grains, rice, wet brain and etc. And protein and dried fish and powder, soybean meal, sesame oil cake and mustard oil cake etc. In fact, and soybean oil and mustard oil and sesame oil etc. And mineral, common soil and bone powder, western senile powder and vitamin mineral and mix and vitamin vegetable, vitamin B, etc. and water, feed water from the tea well and then we will get this from this nutrients. Faulty rations. Three types of commercial faulty feed is available in the market. Layer second ration, boiler grower rations and finisher rations are available. So rations should be prepared or bought from the market and so feed the fowls according to their race and purpose. According to the race and purpose we will get the three types of alterations one is the rear and another is a boiler and another one is a finisher and preparation of the alterations a balanced alterations is prepared by the granular food ingredients about 45 to 55 percent weight and maize and split 50 to 20 percent of rice and wheat grains 10 to 15 percent soybean meal and sesame oil cake and 6 to 10 percent dried fish powder and 2 to 6 percent bone powder and oyster snail powder and use in a ration preparations. And beside this common salt and vitamin mix should be prepared to the ration. After preparing a ration food ingredients should be mixed properly and fall into some sample ration paper for the this layers. One, wheat and the maize grain 47% and two, rice and wheat grain at 16% and three, soy and meal and 10% and sesame oil cake and 10% and dried fish powder 10%, oyster snail powder 6% and common salt and 0.50% and vitamin mineral mix and 0.50% total 100% so supply of food and water is 6 consume the 10 to 50 gram food amount of the food supply must be increased as the 6 crop and a fowl consume the 10 to 120 gram food daily and it should be supplied with a 200 ml germ free free water and feed for and water for it must be used after cleaning every day so every second and 10 to 50 gram for the amount of the food supply and should be the increase as the second grow. At the defending of the age of the second will have to give the more more fit and also we will have to give the 200 ml germ free water for every second. Lesson 12. Management of the faulty disease. And birds are like a human beings and suffer from the various disease too. Human beings also suffer the various disease and look like the birds are also some other many diseases. Non conformity with the normal health factor of the human beings and birds and animals is called a disease. 
it is non-conformity abnormal situation of the health of any human beings or a person which is we call as a disease an unnatural symptom is body is considered as the manifestation of the disease and uncommon symptom and which is the most com not common factor of the human body or bars and when it show up then that will be called as a disease or symptoms show up the disease and disease management means and prevention identification medication of this disease first we will have to prevent the disease before attacking infecting and then we will have to if i affected by the disease at first we will have to identify and then we will have to take the medicine for cure this type of disease from Primarily, in fact, a second can be identified by observing a standard symptom. If you and identify the symptom, you'll seeing the symptom, you'll have to identify the infected seconds. And the symptom of second are given below one. A six second gets separated from the flock, and that means we'll have to separate it from the crop of the second. And those are setting on the ground. And food or water intake and decreases or stops. And bathers of the second look messy and a formal defection. Birds are infected by the disease for various reasons. If infected of the disease, there is a lot of a reason behind it, and main causes of disease is the germs, is the bacteria, and viral and bacterial disease and falls are very critical. If they affected of the fall or bacteria, and that will be the difficult for seeking. And there is a no treatment for the viral disease, and so if the disease and break out and politic cannot be safe. Besides this, and parasitic disease and causes a great harm to the sicken. And to prevent the viral bacterial disease, and falls should be vaccinated and regularly. Prevention power is a sicken body in the block of the vaccination. So, prevent this from type of bacterial disease, we'll have to give the vaccine uh, to the birds, and then they will be able to prevent this type of disease. And this is why all the sickens in the form of household should be vaccinated at the same time. P names of disease are given below one is the viral disease and raniketh, gumbro and bird flu and etc. And bacterial disease, false cholera and false typhoid and follow rums and tuberculosis and botulism etc. A forestic disease and two types of forestic are seen in both inside and outside of the body of the second. Outside body forestic like laws, a tail and mite and fluffs on the other feathers and seconds are mostly attacked inside the body by the parasitic like and roam worms and tie forms and this worms and take a share in the nutrition food of the sicken. Many worms suck blood from the body of the sicken and decide to sicken and suffer from the body and die say quite often the protuse is the cause of this disease. And domestic animals stay in the farm and house for a long time. If they are infected by the disease they can be caused cured by the giving treatments. So forestic disease also is a very dangerous disease for bars or seconds and that is we will have to give the vaccine and brought back to the production again but it is not possible in the commercial poultry farm so falling step should be restored and to prevent the disease in a poultry farm and how can you prevent this type of disease in a poultry farm so you will have to follow this and pen and adjacent area should be kept clean and then around the area of the poultry farms you will have to keep clean and and predatory bars and animals should be restricted from the entity to the pulse. And there is a free bars and animals who should not be uh, give the formation to enter this farm. And vaccination should be given timely. We'll have to give the vaccine in timely. And sicken should be provided with the fresh food. And we'll have to give the fresh food to the sicken. And sicken should be supplied with the fear water. And after washing the pot, we'll have to supply the fear water to the sicken. And balanced food and should be given to the sicken. Arrangement should be made to keep the faulty bed and try. And we'll have to keep the we should keep the man keep the faulty bed and dry and faulty excretion should be preserved as a distance from the farm. If any disease and break out in the faulty farms, and veterinarian should be contacted without getting the panicked and polling step should be taken. So being panicked, we should call the doctor, animal doctor, and to get the treatment from him. And isolate the sick pulse and keep it under the observation. Arrange the pathological test of the piece and urine if required. And in case of a severe viral disease, and all the sick and must be destroyed, dead but must be put that in the ground. And in fact, the sick and should not be sold out in the market. And treatment should be provided on advice of the veterinary. 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 So, so look, and first we will have to isolate the sick uh, and from the 
infected or affected infected second and arrange the pathological test if I needed to do it and in case the several will have to second must be all the signal must be destroyed and that bird must be fought inside under the ground and in fact the second should be sold out in the market and process of goat rearing goat is an important domestic animal and she goes and gets ability to conceive in the seven and eight months it is a very popular among the farming because it can give more than two to three kids at a time a castrate goat and with 15 to 20 kg in 12 to 15 months and the goat meat and seven and martin is very delicious so there is a great demand of course the market is called so because and cow rearing demand more money for the initial investment in housing and food this is a very profitable business and rearing of a goat and goat rearing in a treatment in a method in the place goat are reared by the letting them free or by tying them up in the field in the garden in the roadside and spaces Generally, so additional food is supplied to them during the rainy season. The farmer cut off the leaves and the different trees and give them to the goat to eat. They allow their goats to take the shelter at night time in their room in another room of their houses. Scientific matters should be followed if the goats are reared for the commercial purpose. In this method, the import is given on the housing for the goat and its food and health and management. In a scientific method, goats are reared up in a confined and half confined process. If there is no gazing field or a space for trying up the goat and confined process is opted there for the goat rearing. And goat rearing is a confined process. Goat are reared up in a full confined process in this method. In high and dry land is selected for building and house for the goat. And in this process, house for goat and can be built in a goat effective way by using goat, bamboo, teal, turf, and kulpata, and etc. When making the house, it should be remembered that. An adult goat will require one SQM, a 10 square feet area for the estate. And if the flower is damp and flat from must be built in a house for the goat, in this process, green grass, granular, food, and water are supplied to the goats in a fully confined state. But goats can enjoy the better health if they are taken out to the gates for a couple of hours. If a farm is started with a fresh goat and there should not be be kept in a confined state at the beginning and gradually their grazing time should be reduced and there will be no trouble in fourteen intake once the goat get an assess to the new environment. Here home more keys and do the creative question number one from your from your box and write down the your copy and submit to the Krogal classroom. Stay home, stay safe. Thank you.